Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. I was just in here unloading some supplies and, well, I got something to show you. I, uh, mm, I kind of broke everything. Yeah, all the sails, the command deck. I just went in and deleted everything. And I haven't got it back together again. <laughs> We're not sailing anywhere. I've got the helm in, got the wheel. But I wanted a way to be able to see really well, even the, the uh, see if I jump into here, how oh, my arm's kind of in the way, but maybe it'll go away when I can turn, but I can't turn because it's not happy right now. I've got no floaters, rudders, or sails, but I can see my gangplank down there. And with only a single rise of a deck, or even just this guy down on the deck, I could couldn't really see down below. Well, part way, I could kind of see down below, but not really enough. But then I couldn't see above. So I ended up really having fun with the the curves. There's two different sizes of curves now. There's one this big, and there's a little guy like that. So let me pop into that. You right here, the curve walls. Um, go back to regular. There we go. So we got that great big curved wall and its little version, and a gigantic, a ginormous one. Oh, I didn't realize that was there. Huh. Oh, are you at an angle? On purpose? Oh, wow. Does that transition into a smaller diameter at the top than the bottom? I haven't played with that one yet, but it kind of looks like it goes from this size, uh, let's see here, this size round to this size round at the top. Hmm. Yeah, he was, he was, he, he was angled. Hmm. Anyway, so we've got those kinds of rounds, but they don't really fit other kinds of rounds. I mean, they're like one and a half of a triangle trying to kick around the old squares with these new curves. So it's hard to adapt one to the other. That roof was not fun. So I didn't record all of this because I mean, there's, there's three hours where the labor is sitting here. I, I spent more time deleting than I did building. And trying this and trying that, I ended up with these great big portals. And I started to create a roof here, but then decided not to end it right here. Because that put the map table right at the bottom of the stairs. And you have to kind of sneak around to get out of it. I thought, no, that's not going to work. So I deleted all of that and spread these guys out. Got into the rock foundations a bit, which are kind of fun. Run down over here got some thin ones and thick ones so I put the thick ones out and then dropped a pillar down here like that's a major support system out there and yep had some fun so need to finish this thing we have no we well, have no access here so this all gets torn up and probably put in at that angle to match that somehow but have no sails I'm wanting a second floor in here and a way to easily get up into that Probably using this guy. We haven't tried that yet. So we got that to do. I haven't played with the glass yet. I don't know if I want a nice clear view. Even rebuilding these guys and not finishing them and having just a wide open frame to the whole thing so we can see everything around us. Or if we want to seal it up and make it so it's not noisy when it's storming. You know, like that. It does diminish the view some. Let's do it over here so we can see what it does to our... Our... Uh, where are you? Right there. Our gangplank view. And I guess, yeah, let's do the front. I can delete all these. So, there. Hard to find that hitbox. Where are you? There we go. Did I do that one twice? No. So if we were to do that, look over, you can see it. It's definitely a, a blue haze to it now, but you can see it, but it would be a lot quieter. 
in which case I'd get up there and finish that off as well and and uh, kind of seal it up. I built a great big uh, scaffolding, went around this whole structure to uh, to build all of that, and I fell off a few times. But anyway, there's that to figure out, and and I kind of got laughed at a little bit in the comments last time. Remember, I was up on that little island right when we finished. There you are. I uh, made the comment. Well. There's obviously not a stone chest over here, and because there's, there's there's nothing remarkable about it, there's nothing that gives you that impression. And the answer in the comment was, Haha, "Yes, there was." So, yeah, I've, I've taken all the trees off. I was, you know, I needed building materials. I got a massive command deck to build on there. I'm gonna see if I can get these frames per second down to three or four with all that I'm putting on that island now. <laughs> Anyway, I then commented, well, in that case, I guess I'm just going to have to strip mine everything because we cleaned out the three in the middle. I thought, okay, there's nothing here. Well, look at that. Uh-huh. So there's the stone chest. Let's put all these guys back just to... Come on now. Don't do that. Patch, patch, patch. There we go. And if I were to patch you again, you stay visible okay so put six away and let's see what's in here we've got a but it doesn't tell me what they are so we got to make some guesses we know what a lot of these are although you're different you look like you're made with linen and is that's just bones that's a bone pickaxe or are you a door kip and i remember the name door kip okay let's grab all these and we'll look at the descriptions from the backpack okay so, backpack, and that one was a bone pickaxe. Okay, we just have a stone one, so we'll drop that into there. And, what is it, R? Yeah, R, we'll dismantle that one. Don't need that. We have a bone version of this guy, so we can get rid of that, too. Good. And you are just a torch. Okay, I guess I've never noticed the graphic was white at the top. Ah, so I don't have any sense that they wear out, unlike the little drop on the bottom. Like, these are going away on their own by time. I didn't use this one again. It was at half when we went into that last battle, and I don't remember using this. Though, I guess I have used it to get rid of stumps. So that's probably what wore it out. Okay, that makes sense. That was probably done with the last of the battle. Okay. But these don't give a sense of wearing out, so I don't believe I need another one. So I'll take that linen. Thank you. All right, so that was that. Over here, we've got some more arrows, which are with food. Um, bone tipped. Oh, good. Good arrows and stone tips. So that's what we were shooting that wasn't doing a lot of good. Anything else we picked up? I know there were some seeds, but nothing else that was new. Now, we've got another couple of these guys. Okay. All right. Well, cool. That's the stone chest. Hidden underground instead of uh, just loose on top of hilltops. Great. And I, I did see a tomato over there. Okay. Any more? Over here? Yep. A couple of you guys. All right. Jump off. And let's see. Let's head to the map table. Now, Paint in My Hair mentioned an episode ago that as we were leaving an island, there was still a purple cocoon out there that I had missed. I think that episode, we were either there or there. So, yeah, th that guy's just on his own. I'm sorry, not, not going back. Um, let's seal this whole thing up. Let's figure out how to and see what this is like in a rainstorm without the rain. So five. So we'll seal it all. Are you... There's nothing there. Um, actually, I can put in this guy. Yeah, trying to get the different peaks and curves and everything to kind of match was not perfect. It was a little tough. It's kind of fill in the blank. I could put a wooden triangle in there, but I could also put this guy in there, I think. 
So rotate you around. No, you're only a corner. No, you can still do that. And uh, that. Okay, that works. So you five. All right, filled that in. Now, where do I fall off the face of the world? What happens if I hit this guy? And keep hitting it. There it goes. So, am I... Nope, got another one there. Alright, same spot over here. Yep. Alright, so let's drop into there. Does it feel quieter in here? Can't tell. Turn my volume up a little bit. Let's put some more glass in. I mean, I've got this great big opening here, so we're probably not going to be able to get a full sense of it. But maybe as I get closer away from these openings. So we're sealed there. I think we're sealed everywhere in here. So if I were to walk over here and just listen for a while versus out here. Okay, we've got, well, random wind. That guy. I think it's quieter. Not a, not the best test because of this, of this big opening. But let's go to sleep. And because the rain stopped, it did. Okay. Well, let's make the sun come back. And jokingly make the storm go away. Yeah, that, that's a Minecraft thing. But, you know, if we're sleeping for eight hours, I would think the storm would go away too. That seems reasonable. What's going on out there? Ah, uh, just windy. Okay. Um... Anything to do in here? Don't think so. What's happening here? Nothing in there. Uh, escape. You got some extra. Do we use it? Let's just grab you. And what's going on over here? Rope. I don't know what our current inventory is. As far as these guys, we've got 26 in here. Let's toss you in. I've got a full inventory. Um, what did I have? Rope. So, rope, we're at 66. We're good there. Uh, stone. So, these are things that were in that chest, right? Yeah. These guys go in here, as well as these if I want to, but I toss them in a different one for, for, uh, crafting. But the coal can go in there. Um, what else do we have? Were there any leaves on me? No. No planks. Okay. Leave all those. I didn't see any wool. Let's toss these guys in here. You, you, that one. That it? Yeah. Where do we store these kinds of things? At the moment, I'm just storing them on me. Dirt was landing in the second one for some reason. And, yeah, I hate to put poo in the kitchen, but I think I got rid of the, of the composter. It was back there on the command deck. So that one's gone now. Alright. Still foggy in our kitchen. Put that away. And, yep. Um, stones. Wind stones. You guys in here? You're in there. So we got grain. We got water. Alright, we'll just kind of... Let's see. You can stay there. Got animal feeds. Got some wood up there. Yeah, something like that. Okay, you guys can all stay. So, we've seen the chest. We've seen the behemoth. And now we got to figure out what to do here. I'm not sure exactly how to record it. That's just it. There's so much that I did last episode, or in between episodes, that it would have taken hours just to edit that into something that was interesting. So, me standing here staring at it and scratching my head doesn't really work. Do we... I don't think we need a roof over everything. Just a little bit further for this. So if we brought that roof out one more round and then made the corner. So this guy was under the roof and then we could maybe round out maybe round out a wall right over here leaving this wide open. It's worth a try. Let's build a scaffolding 
Um, what does that really mean? Let's build a staircase. Let's start that with that. So, what do I want here? Three, probably something like that. And let's go out over here, a ways away, like that. Okay, so from there, let's do... Actually, let's do that again. Boy, it'd be nice to be able to click on this guy and be able to make a copy. That would be cool. Now, there is a favorites system that I've never used. So, I could favorite this guy and then he's sitting out over here so what I would use the most would be probably a floor and it's kind of hard to tell because you know when you're building you're using everything and then you're not using anything afterward I don't know anyway stairs and let's do that again there, now we're up at scaffolding level. Let's put a floor out here and over. And I guess over like so. Fire you across. Thankfully, gravity isn't a thing right now because we're not at levels that match otherwise. But with this, I can stand here and break things okay I could do this technically from the ground but some things you almost need to be above to make contact so roofing and let's come out these sides one more time you got to be able to see the surface that you're attaching to now do I spread this out a little further somehow if I were to do that now, how do I fix that corner? Um, what is in here? So from here, we've got little guy. Then we go up. And that may be what I'm looking for. If I get rid of you and you. And you. And flipped you around a little bit. Let's see, let's go to manual and then and then roll it till he's back in there, and then I can get half steps. Like that. So that kinda gets in there. I need to be a little bit higher. Let's build more scaffolding. So I think I want a I think I want a staircase. I want to get a little higher. So let's build you and Delete you guys. And let's go up one more notch. So, I guess from here. So, what is that? Go back to you. Rotate around. Is that enough? We'll do another one. Alright, from here. Now we can see above it. Um, floor. And in this case, let's go this way a bit. Whatever I figure out works here, I can more easily just duplicate over there. Now, I can curve around something, but it's not easy to curve this way. I can go around that, you know, the, the round end over there, but to curve back out. I don't think there's a lot of pieces that do that. Um, so back into here and into there's only two options there and no options there so that's the only one that's got a chance so that's the one that's more extreme swing you around let's go to manual and swing you around like that so we, we're still only curving outward in order to curve this direction I just don't have the angles yeah, so I can't do that unless I could somehow flip it upside down. Then maybe a big end at the top, and maybe there's a chance there. Otherwise, let's go back to this guy. So the idea then was to uh, roll the mouse to there, flip you around like that, and have eaves. There are eaves out here. I would need to... And now I'm interacting with these guys. 
Hmm. So you see, I could spend an hour just figuring out this little area. If we spin this guy around, can he bring the top around somehow? Not really. Yeah, nothing I can interact with. So, that's what I've been doing for the last three hours. Well, last night, till about midnight. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to make all these things work. What we might do instead, because I can do this a lot better when I'm not talking. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this fun or funny, and that isn't. So instead, what do you say we go and put some sails out here and there, and get this island moving and see what's in the next sector, and then maybe start next episode with the next phase of the new command deck and just do it that way. So we could do something along the lines of dropping sails out on the perimeters for now just to give us some temporary places that aren't going to interfere with what I'm building over there and that way they're available for several episodes until we come up with something else now you are aligned over there I would have thought it would be facing that way where is the helm from here now, I guess it is over there okay so in that case I kind of want you like this that but I don't know how it interacts with veggies <laughs> so it's right there we can get full wind there spin you around so it's like that trees there this corner yeah that's kind of a mess I think it's this corner so we'll set you in here and spin you a little bit further call that good take you up as high as we can and maybe not down so far something like that so it's easy to walk around this area so let's do two of those on this side and two on the other side and just to catch some wind and and do the job so there all the way up i am falling forward interesting oh i'm in the I'm in the sail. Okay. So out and high. Oh, not so high that I can't walk under it. Okay. So there's two on this side. Let's do the rest on the other side. Where to? Well, hello. How? How? How did that happen? That's our pheasant. Wow. So, you somehow found your way over to the pheasant. Maybe I put food out or something. <laughs> Even the sick one went straight for it. I don't know. All right, I'm going to put you down. No, wait a minute. You're a, you're a goat. That's not the pheasant. You're the little baby goat that disappeared. So, maybe there's still a pheasant somewhere else on this island. How did you get here? Okay, well, let's go... New, new plan, two new plans, make some more cure, and do a, a serious search in this island for a pheasant. Maybe it does still exist. Okay, so let's start with phase one, uh, right here. Let's make, um, let's pull you back and drop ten in. Okay, so let's make ten of these. Uh, milk, we've got... That's all the milk we have at the moment. Okay. So what do I need to do? F. Just speed this up a bit. Or slow it down. One more. Okay. Take these guys. Start working on this one. Oh. Okay. I'll leave those in there. Yeah. Boom. Nope. Okay, done. Grab you and put you in there. So now we know how the cure works. <laughs> I 
Almost. All right, there we go. All right, we got the cure. We'll leave the garlic in there. And where am I at? This door? Yeah. So let's race over here, cure this little guy, deliver him to the goat pen. Give him some food. There we go. Valerie. And feed. There you go. Glad you're feeling better. Pick you up and take you to the goat pen and maybe there is still a pheasant somewhere on this island so let's go do a more thorough search I just assumed that that the pheasant had just vanished all right put you in there and you're looking mighty healthy all right these guys look like they could use some foods so let's do that and let's put half of you in there and half of you in there okay so you guys have a ball hello how you doing nope don't want to pick you up just wanted to pet you nope okay you won't let me unless i feed you all right so let's grab one of our fancy torches and let's look for a pheasant Alright, looking for purple. And unfortunately, there's other purple-like things around, so it's... In the dark, that's not going to be easy. In fact, you know, in the dark, it's not going to be easy. Let's just... I'm going to run up there and... And make the sun come back. Be right back. Looking for a little sick pheasant. Let's at least fly the perimeter this way. Nothing there. I can't see much over here. And, yeah, I, the view keeps swinging back to straight ahead. So I can't keep looking over there. I have to keep moving my mouse to fight it. So that would be nice. Maybe if the timer could be extended so you have more of a look before it goes away. That would be good. So I'm looking that way, and it is fighting me tooth and nail. All right, so I didn't see anything in that pass. Let's just take a, a walk through the place. We were here when we ran out of light. All right, down here. Let's walk around so... Of course, if he landed under something like a foundation, then not much I'm going to be able to do. But you aren't in here, are you? No. No. Almost make it out of that. Nope, not quite. Alright, so looking down underneath. Need to probably go search around the goat pen too. So, around these guys. Nothing under hmm in the water no disappeared from here okay around the goat pen though I've been in here several times so I would have seen yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys are messy. Okay, we need an automated goat cleaner system. We do. <laughs> yeah. What is it? A rum Roomba? Whatever the little floor robots are. Okay. Now, so I'd say that was an amazing discovery, but I don't think we're going to be able to repeat it. That's too bad. Okay. What was I doing? Setting sail so we could move. Okay. And I also want to remember to make shears this episode and go ahead and get some wool going so we can see that process. But more sails somewhere that's already been cleared out. I don't know where that is, actually. I really don't. I mean, we have right here. Um, with a bunch of trees behind, so it's not going to be very effective. But I've only cleared the trees out... Well, we've got down here. 
Yeah, we could do that just for temporary. All right, you go here. And the island is aligned that way, so maybe right off in this area. And what is that, a touch of more? Click all the way up and down here. Well, I gotta be able to walk in that front door. So right there. And let's put one of the other sails in. Um, this guy. You can be kind of right behind and catch the wind from the side. So right there, straight up, all the way out and all the way down. You can have full sail. All right, so between those four, we ought to be doing pretty good sail-wise. Rudder-wise, one thing that I've noticed when setting up the helm and the rudder on this island, every time I, I spawn them in, I had to back, I had to flip them backwards. I think that's telling me that the island was meant to be helmed from the other end because they naturally align to the island, I'm guessing. But rudder. All right, now, yeah, it's aiming toward the wheel. So every time I brought the rudder out, I've had to spin it around so that it would aim away from the wheel. So I think that means the island was meant to be steered from that end. I'm fighting it. I want it up there. But that's, I think, what's going on. Where to rudder? It doesn't really matter. I don't think the game notices the difference. So we could set a most anywhere, but at the moment we'll just do that. Just to qualify for the steering wheel to work. So let's see what we've got. We've got no we have no lift. We have no lift. Okay, so lift. Let's hop down over here and Yeah, you know, just for fun. Let's just lift off this guy build you guys and let's flip you around no special instructions on you so we'll do that and we'll do what's that look like down there not great but I got a torch in the way so we'll do that okay so with that we have lift we have rudder we have sail and we have a wheel the helm so let's see if we can't move into the next uh, sector of the table map. So we are headed toward the point. So the point is where we're going. We're pointed in the direction that we're going. Doesn't matter where the sails are. We're pointed in that direction. I'm keeping telling myself that so I don't keep getting it backwards. So we are, in fact, going that way. And there's a big something out there. What am I seeing there? And, yeah, I've got to go up on top to see it because looking through the glass felt kind of odd. Are those rocks? Or is that guy down there an island? trying to see if they're moving the top ones are moving like rocks I think the bottom one is a rock too just they're not they're all stagnant which is interesting huh okay ah, let's head toward them and see what we crash into full sail so we have sail we have rudder and we have a little bit of lift so pretty much the same setup as before though I think we've lost a little sail Yep, they were all rocks. Okay, so we are headed toward the flashies. Let's drop below the rocks. Dropping! Whew, that was close. Okay, pull back up. And it looks like we've got to drop down to these guys anyway. So let's actually slow the sail down. I may have already missed it. Yeah, let's be here when we, uh, when we move into the next sector. Okay, you and full sail and drop out. And 17 frames per second. And let's see what happens when we when we clear the wood border that's between the sectors. See that you know this big wood thing we're traveling through right now. So we're heading a little bit of a diagonal. But we are moving. You can actually see him creeping across the grain there. Waiting with bated breath. Am, am I turning blue yet? 
<laughs> so close. There it is. And we're heading to a single island. Hey, hey, hey. Give me my ship back. I, I fell through the wood. Oops. So let's turn and go toward these guys. So over there somewhere. I'm thinking those three that just passing into this window right now. I think that's oh, where we want to go. We need them in this window. I wish I could move this window down just a half a window. That would be good. All right, if I got that right, uh, we're dropping like crazy. Stop that. Okay, 400. I don't know what the limits are. I fall through, off the edge of the, the universe there. So we are heading pretty much that direction. Okay, so need to come back just a little bit. So what does that mean? So it's probably that group right over there that we're heading toward. So off a little, like so. So how would we improve this design? Should there be a viewing deck out here instead of a wall of windows? Should this group be gone? It makes it noisier, but what does that look like? Well, first of all, we can see so much better. But if these went away... Oh, that, that's so much easier to see. It is. That's the biggest frame I can come up with for a, for a window. You know, for a nice big opening that didn't look like a door. Hmm. I do like that much better. But it's going to be really noisy in the storms. Yeah. But it's kind of nice I can look down. You know, look down below us a little bit while we're sailing. Look at that cloud rolling through. Wow. So, closest island at this point. Yeah, we're heading into these guys. So it's going to be a while. We're actually closer to the islands behind us than we are in front of us. So if I just hold here, I wonder if the island is quickly moving under us in a way. But those islands that we left, I guess it's those flashes right in front of me. Okay. But coasting in, yeah, we're still... The island's not moving that fast. I'm, I'm holding the slow button down and we're not being outrun by the sails. So we're okay. We can, we can catch this guy when, uh, when something goes wrong. Okay. All right, so we are heading toward at least that guy. So, one more time. That guy. So we do want to head to starboard just a touch. So we're heading more toward these flashes over here. Okay. All right, you just do your thing. We have, we're late afternoon. We've got some time. Let's go build some shears real quick. And maybe go visit a sheep. And um, that would be right here. Yeah. Using the parts that are in the leaf basket. So we want to build this guy. Shears. These are bone shears. Do we want to waste the bone shears? I'm not convinced I do. Um, I don't see any yellow dots. So... Okay. Maybe that's the only shears that there are. Maybe there isn't a stone version. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that then. I need another bone. Another sharp bone. Is that what they're called? You. Sharp bone. Okay, bones are scarce, so I don't want to just make a whole bunch willy-nilly. And so yellow dots means it's something that we have not built yet. Pretty sure that's what's going on there. All right, we've got you. We can drop you 
into the floater. What I call the floater spot. Hit out the hobbit hole. Wow. Storm coming in. Leap off. And find a very laggy sheep. Or a llama. Hello, Mr. Llama. Um, I need to feed you before you're going to let me shear you. I think that's what's going on. So let's grab ten of you. And you've not found your way inside. I think that's what it is. Well, let's just... Oh, now I can shear you. What did, what did I miss there? Don't know. I click. <laughs> I took all your white. <laughs> Where's Mr. Sheep? Right over here. We'll do the same thing. So you... Click. Okay, you're done. Now let's grab the bucket. See if there's anybody who needs to be milked. And eight. And Finley. Thank you. I think we've got two in here at the moment. Finley and... Jeremy. Now we just got... There's Margaret. But our little guy. Right here? Yeah, no, not, that's Finley. The little one we just made. Valerie is going to be most likely milkable at some point. Okay, so you can be pet. Nope, that's pickup. I want those reversed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, makes a noise. Okay, so we've got Amari, Eden, and Cairo. And still no way that I can come up with to make uh, goat burgers. So right now we just got a lot of poopers. All right, so we have sheared. We are how far away from doom? We're there. Wow, that was fast. Slow down. Okay. So we've got somebody right over there. And somebody right over there. So the other one was off to this side. Both sides of us and in front. So there's somebody, another island right over there. Okay, let's go grab some rest. See our, our lights through our, our roof. Kind of cool. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree. All right, I'm going to take all of the buffs that I can get today. I still have a pumpkin pie on me and some clean water. Um, Space-wise, I have room. And I have wool. Let's go look at wool real quick. For starters, wool drops into here, which probably needs to move upstairs. But to do that, begins showing a wool stockpile. Okay, so we'll take that, take it up here, and was there only one that interacts with it? Yeah, though, I would think later this would. That's a spinner. I would think it would make yarn eventually. But this will make wool. Let's just put one in. Should make a wool cloth. Three of them. Oh, that's nice. Wool cloth. Wool cloth stockpile and wool square sail. Ooh. And you don't interact with it at all. So anything else that can be done with wool? I don't know. Wool cloth, of course. Just looking at tools and equipment ah new set of sails um, and that one and then over here we've got more things that can be made ah, the stockpile as well as all of these guys okay so back to here so wool interacts with this guy I don't think there's anything else don't think so. You... Wool is not an option here to combine with anything. Okay. And research-wise, wool didn't pop into here for any reason. No. You, no, you, no. Though you... Yeah. Select tool. And let's reapply this one. Okay, 
So you're buffed up again, just in case that's a thing. All right, what do we got? We've got two little ones over there and one over there. Let's fly to the two. Hmm. Let's go to this one. Let's see, any updrafts? No. All right, well, let's just time this properly then. There, there, there. Wow, that worked. Okay, slow it down. And dive bomb it. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Drop. Okay. We've got goats. We do. And... Anything exciting over here? And yes, I'm going to have to strip mine this thing. I gotta know. But before I do, let's grab some blueberries. Mm. And making hay is going to be a thing. So let's just grab all of the ferns that we can. Uh, can I get this fern without grabbing the blueberries? Good. Now, let's see if there's anything hiding under here. Just to know. Doesn't look like it. I think blueberries are the prize up here. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a no. So, we'll put you guys back. Okay, so that's a note. We've got goats, which means we could grab... Oh, it's already there. Okay. We could come over here and feed you, which is why we need to collect... Now, I don't think I'm getting milk out of Abraham. Is there a Sarah around here? You look like you could use some food, even though I'm going to abandon you and leave you behind. <laughs> But still, Barrett, I'm sure, is appreciative. Here's the one I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. You are Ethan. No, not milking an Ethan either. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, um, then let's grab some more goodies as far as making hay. Oops, lost the blueberries. And you... Oh, more blueberries. Stop that. Okay, over here. No blueberries over here. You have some, though. Okay. You grab that. And that. And no blueberries over here. Careful not to hit a goat. Or another goat. Alright, call that one done. So let's head home. Which is over there. Oh, missed it completely. Yep. <laughs> Alright, put seven away. And head over here. Yeah, I think I like my view better. So, full sails. Move over. Where's the little guy? Uh, starting to rain or just getting cloudy? I don't, oh, little guy's down there. Okay. So, we'll come in at an altitude that's right in between the two. And this gives us a chance to look underneath this one. I didn't look under the other one. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Oh, well. What might have been. So, let's slow you down. Sail speed is pretty good right now. Pull you away. Run out here. Jump, jump. And let's go see the big one and yes I am strip mining that little one you better believe I am <laughs> alright boost into there what have we got here kind of a pheasant like island right what is that bones oh not a good sign potatoes though mm. more goats how you do oh we've got a learning stone that's right there wasn't a learning stone on the other one and we, it's possible that we are at the end of what the game has to offer. That learning stone is inside somewhere. Where am I looking? Oh, look at you. That's a different design of an island. Wait, go down. Oh, I see. It's just a shelf, not really an inside. Okay. Let's go over here. One more goat. More goats. Hmm... You guys are kind of away from your, your buddies over there. 
All right, what have we got? We've got nothing. Okay, so that is the end of what the game has to give us. But do you guys have a path up? Kind of. Kind of. So if I were to build a staircase, something like... Uh, there and you probably can't get up on that can you let's see if I were to hit that one and rotate down okay then you can probably get to there though There. Okay. Goats can do that. And yes, I'm, I'm concerned that the goats can't get back to the other goats. Yes, I know. That's that's just me. That's just how I roll. Alright, you're going to be there. And we're going to throw another one in there. And then we're going to chop down this tree. See, if I don't, then this is going to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's chop it on this side, make it fall that way. Sometimes that works. Okay. Now, get back here. Okay. So, let's see. I want a six. Pop you. Want a three? No, I want to build. And bang, bang, and spin you around. Am I on? Like that. Okay. So from there to there and pop another one in there. Alright, so goat friends, you should be able to make this climb now. Yeah, because you got a buddy over here that's kind of lonely. Let's feed buddy. And you are an Ezra. Okay. See, boy. Bones all over the place. Yeah, this is a this was a goat death island, I tell ya. But we fixed it. Okay. Potatoes. Yeah, oh, more? Oh, man. You're just trying to guilt me into taking them all home with me so they don't face the same uh, demise, but not gonna do it. Mm mm. Ain't gonna happen. Alright, so around here. And I saw more potatoes down below, right? Right in there. So are we done here? I think we are. Any reason to check for chests in here? Like a spot like this, maybe? one somewhere um, just randomly now and last chance up in here nope I'm gonna say that's not likely but I will take that and that and that okay patch you guys up make you look better lots of natural feed for the goats and let's get out of here so little guy getting a little better at this flying stuff all right drop in more goat bones well don't know what that one was but they probably fell off of that island wherever that went where was i the tree is hiding it perfectly isn't it yeah right there Okay, so on here, what do we have? Any tomatoes? Actually, no food whatsoever. That's why the bones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Is there a reason for this island? 
have to be some reason to have this little patch of ground. None whatsoever. Okay, one more. Alright, nothing. Okay, put you all back together again. And we are out of here. Got a tree. That's about it. Okay, that home, that's home. So we've been to these two, been to that one. Let's sail off to the next cluster while we're finding something else to do out here. So, yeah, what else to do with the front of this? I wonder if there should be a place to, to walk out. I think there should be. Okay, and a place to land. Right in there. That didn't work. And no, I'm not going out the front. Okay, so... This level needs to extend beyond? I don't know. That does what? Yeah, wrong level. Hmm. Doesn't make sense to ramp up, does it? I mean, it fits. It does fit. Now, am I losing? I'm losing the view down there, but I can kind of see through the stairs. But then, if something, let's get moving. Where are we going? Let's. It's not officially showing that we've been to that other island. What do we have to do to? Do we have to just get the island within a certain distance of it? Because we were there. So do I need to... I don't know, stake a claim? You know, by chopping down a tree or something? I don't know. Let's, let's take another peek at this. A little black dot on my map. That's going to bug me. It's like we didn't actually achieve anything. Oh, spin around. Let's take a look around the backside. We didn't last time. Maybe there was a learning stone that that I didn't activate. Hmm. No. Nope. Blueberries. So it wasn't that. And we did talk to all the goats. So let's cut a tree down and chop a rock and see if that... Oh, that's nice. That's the better pick. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Now I need to find a place with a bunch of rocks all next to each other and see what kind of damage that does. Sorry. I think I hit a goat. <laughs> okay. So we have done that. Let's take down a tree. So I think we can officially say that we've been here. See if that triggers the map to acknowledge us. And we did look up here, right? I'm pretty sure we did. I think I made the comment that the, the blueberries were the prize. Let's see, what do I want? Okay, let's do it again. I just need to know. Nope. There was, there was nothing here. Okay. Alright, so we ruled that out. Let's see how the map table... Now, nope, it still doesn't register that. So I wonder if a dot, a green dot means that we have interacted with a... Hmm, with a knowledge stone. Or maybe we just have to fly within a certain distance of, or sail within a certain distance of. That could be it. Let's prove that right or wrong. Swinging over. Going forward. He should be coming into view. Uh, there he is. Right at the edge of the screen. Right at him and he kind of vanished. Alright, let's go there on our way to something else. Okay. And... I'm already there, aren't I? 
for the end of the episode. Let's get aiming in that direction. Maybe we'll get to where we can see them. Then we'll call this one done. Then I'll spend till midnight tonight figuring out the next step of this guy. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that green dot, or the black dot, turns green because of proximity. Or because I've crashed into it. But no, we weren't this close to the other ones, and they've turned green. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're still approaching. Well, look at that. Is that a cave? Interesting. It's a sealed off cave. Oops. Pull back. Go up. I know that there were some of these in the last demo. I've seen videos of it, but I have not seen it in this demo, in this game. Okay, so there is a learning stone to interact with. And we haven't, and so it didn't trigger. That must be what's going on. So is this a cure to get through, or is there a hack and slash them to get through? There's not much to land on there, I tell you. Okay, drop, hold. So, to remove the barrier, we need to waste one of our potions. Okay. We killed it. We drop in. Okay, I think we've hit the grand finale here. Whoa. Okay, this was the jackpot, I tell you. What else we have in here? Is this a circle? Remove barrier. Am I not seeing something? There is an invisible barrier in there. Okay. Well, let's go out here to trigger the light. Abandoned chest. Feather. No, that's a new kind of feather. Okay, we'll have to go see what that's all about. Boy, I almost didn't have enough room. Hmm. Okay, we'll grab these guys. We know all of these. More, I assume, the good bones more bandages and some sugar okay what do we got here here golden feather a shiny feather dropped by a mysterious bird mm hmm it's 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 a goose I already know the answer mm hmm the golden goose I laid the golden egg and had white feathers in the movie yeah anyway you guys, we know what you guys are. We don't need another bucket, but we'll take the hay. And over here... Ooh, another opal. Which means I don't have room. Yeah. Okay, mm. well, I guess I'm going to make another trip. Just no, I'm not going to throw anything away. And I don't have room for that either. We're full. Okay, what's over here? We have room for water, and more of those, and more of those in that stack. So I gotta come back for you, and can I bust my way through this, or is this something that doesn't break? Yeah, you don't break, and I need another one of these. So let's throw in a torch. Although I can't torch and hack at the same time. So is this like poisonous water that I can't get through? Interesting. The water didn't change colors. So there was something invisible there. Hmm. This must go in a circle and come out at that other side. But it does what? Oh, we go in multiple directions. Ah, there's the knowledge stone in there. Okay. More of those plants that look like what? Radishes? I want to say it's radishes. Bones. Yeah, something didn't have uh, the magic cure to get out and got stuck in here. Mm-hmm. Let's bust through this guy. Take all of those. Okay, I'm hearing it. Oh. We could have flown to this. <laughs> Did I really not 
see it? I didn't see it. Interesting. Um, sickle? I want to be able to grab the vines. Yeah, let's make those something that you can harvest. Alright, you're going to just tell me that there's nothing to tell me. Yeah, all that we have to offer. But, it puts you on the map. So, one last peek through here before we call this episode done. Eight. Anything else? I'm sure there's there's uh, skeleton heads and, and things like that in here. Usually don't see them. I never look up. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get the coal. No, there aren't any. No heads on these guys. And that is a cool chest. We need to build a few of those. Yeah. Okay, so with that, I think we're going to call this one done. Never mind. I didn't see you at all. So that is a different kind of barrier. It's not like the the purple one. And I can't see what's inside there. Okay, took you out. And got... Nothing. Huh? No, I just got to... Uh, the privilege of using up a potion. Okay. Well, that was... different. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.